Hello and welcome to our screencast on how to install and run Defragler by Piriform on a Windows 7 PC. To find and download Defragler, I'm going to use the web browser Google Chrome as my personal choice. However, Firefox, Safari, and Opera are also great web browsers you can use. Currently, I have Chrome set to open Google, so I may start typing my search immediately. Google now starts searching as soon as you start typing, so when you press D, you will now be presented with the list of most common searches that began with D. Notice that even a small spelling mistake will not take you too far off course, as Google will suggest the correct spelling for you. Once you feel you have the most appropriate search term, press return and you may peruse your results. Notice that the domain of the first item in our results is the company's name, Piriform. That convinces me to click there. The page that loads presents us with some information about Defragler as well as links with further reading. However, currently we are interested in the large green download button in the center, so click there. On the download page, Piriform offers priority support. However, we are going to skip past that and click on download from Piriform.com. Your download should now start automatically. If it does not, click on the Start Download link towards the center of the screen. In Chrome, a bar at the bottom of your window will ask you if you would like to save or discard this file. In this case, press Save. Now we can click on the icon of the downloaded file to start the installer. When the installer launches, it begins by asking you which language you prefer to proceed in. Now we are presented with the Welcome to the Setup Wizard screen. We can proceed by clicking Next. The End User License Agreement is displayed and must be agreed with before continuing installation. Finally, a list of install options are presented where you can choose if you would like to have shortcuts on your desktop or start menu, as well as if you would like it to automatically check for updates. Now you can press Install to proceed with the installation process. The installation process should complete briefly and you will be presented with the option to launch Defragler. When Defragler opens, we are presented with its primary interface. We should begin by looking at the top section, which allows us to select which drive we would like to defragment. You may want to defragment more than one drive, but let's begin with our boot volume labeled C. And in the lower right hand quadrant, we have a pie chart that depicts the relationship between the use space and the free space on the selected drive. To investigate further, we can press the Analyze button in the lower left-hand corner, allowing Defragler to collect more data on the selected drive. With analyzation complete, if we are curious, we can investigate a little further. To the left here, we can see the basic results and the overall level of fragmentation. If you click on the second tab, you will see a list of the fragmented files, their location, their size, and the amount of fragments each has been split into. The next tab allows advanced users to perform searches based on file attributes. The final tab serves as a legend for the block diagram above. When we are finished investigating, we can click the defrag button to begin the defragmentation process. This process is similar to reorganizing a file cabinet, so it may be best not to work on any of those old files or make new ones. Of course, you can still close any window you are no longer using. The amount of time needed to defragment a hard drive depends on a few primary factors, particularly the amount of data that is fragmented, the amount of space that is available, and the speed and health of your drive. While this drive is not exceptionally fast, it was only 20% fragmented and had plenty of free space available, so the defragmentation process took only 15 minutes. Once the status on the left reports defrag complete, you may continue on, perhaps to another disk, or to close the window. Thanks for joining us again on our screencast brought to you by Fixit Computer Repair. We hope you find this information helpful and have a wonderful day.